All right, so the other day I was on Instagram just looking through the trending page and someone posted a picture of their drum set and it looked like they had a ching ring on their hi-hat, but it didn't look like a ching ring because I guess the photo was in black and white. It had the cliche Instagram filters on it. So it looked like a ching ring, but it didn't really look like one because it was white. And honestly, I thought it was some new product that Big Fat Snare Drum made. But I checked their website and I couldn't find anything, so I think it's just a ching ring. And again, it just looked weird because of the, the filter on the photo. But you all know that recently I made that video about how to make a ching ring. And I understand that all of you guys don't have access to, you know, metal working tools and that kind of stuff. So I figured this would be a good video, kind of a good example on an alternative way to achieve the same kind of goal. If that makes any sense. Alright, so forget everything I just said because it turns out that Big Fat Snare Drum does make that product, it's called a bling ring. And seriously, the day after I finished this video that you're about to watch, uh, I was on Instagram and my man Carlo, aka CVL8 on Instagram, definitely check him out. He posted this picture as well as this video and well, I found out that they actually do make it. So yeah, my bad, I kind of failed to do the research, but uh, yeah, enjoy. So I started by digging through the old head stash to find a head that was worthy of cutting up, and while I was looking, I remembered I had this wrap from the TKO drum set from the 12-inch Tom, so I figured I'd try using this also. So I started by setting my dividers to three inches, so that will give me a radius of six inches, and then I just marked it out. And then I reset it to 2 inches so that will give me a radius of 4 inches so the inside diameter will be 4 inches. So my original plan was to cut it out with scissors but then I decided I would try to just use the dividers as like a scribe basically and cut through the heads and actually it worked pretty well. But obviously if you don't have a set of dividers then you can just cut it out with scissors. So I drew this pentagon in the original Ching Ring video and basically the point of it is to help you lay out the hole pattern. It's a five hole pattern so you need five holes obviously. So a pentagon has five corners or five sides so that's what you need. And if you want to learn how to draw one just look it up online. But you'll notice that I have the center point connected to the corners of the pentagon so that'll help you lay out the hole pattern. And then you'll also realize that the pentagon, as well as the circle drawn around the pentagon, is bigger than the actual ring that I just cut out. So I'm just using those lines as a reference to get it centered. So once I had that laid out, I took my dividers and set them to half of the width of the ring. So the ring is one inch wide, so I set the dividers to half an inch. Then I scribed a line where I laid out the hole pattern, so that will give me the center point, which is where the hole will go. And to make the holes, I just heated up a nail and melted through the plastic. That's really the only way you can do this and get a clean hole because if you try to drill it, it'll just catch and just spin around and destroy the, the ring basically. So really, this is the only way to do it. And then the jingles are coming from the same tambourine that I used before. It's just a cheap tambourine that I found online and if you want to buy one, I'll have a link in the description. And then the way I'm putting this together is I'll take a cymbal rivet and again if you want to use the same rivets that I'm using I'll have a link down below but I'll take the jingles and put them on the rivet and then I'll put the rivet through the ring and then just because the ring is you know plastic and soft I thought the rivet might pull through so to avoid that I'm using a washer. And then I've talked about this tool before but all it is is the shank of a bolt that I cut off and then I rounded it over one of the ends and then that tool will help me get the rivet started. And then once it's started, I can just use the hammer.
So yeah, this is definitely an easier way to make a Ching Ring, and kind of the point of my channel is first of all to entertain, but also is to inspire. So, like I said before, if you don't have the tools or the knowledge or the materials to make something, then kind of just think outside the box and see what else you can come up with. So going back to the ones that I just made, I was kind of scared that the one made out of the head would be too flimsy, which, I mean, it is pretty flimsy, but actually that flaw has turned into a design feature. So if we look at the metal ching ring, when you put it on a ride symbol, for example, you'll see that it doesn't sit flat because the bell is in the way, so usually it'll sit like this. And I'm not saying that it doesn't work when it sits like that, but with the other one, it kind of conforms to the shape of the symbol and the bell, and instead of it being like a jingle sound, it's more of like a sizzle. So the two may not sound exactly the same, but again, this is totally an easier way to make one. So enough talking, let's play it. So I actually don't have a use for these just because I have so many other things that jingle so I don't really need these and people always ask if I sell the stuff that I make and usually it's hard for me to let go of things but I figured I could part with these. So if you want to support my channel then I'll have a link down below where you can buy them. I also sell stickers and also I just got some magnets made so be sure to check those out. So if you've ever wanted to own some R. David R. history, then now's your chance. Also when I was recording the part of me playing, I realized that these are all made out of drum parts because you got the tambourine jingles, the cymbal rivets, and then the old head, and then the old drum wrap. The only thing that's not drum related is the washer, but it's a washer. But yeah, links down below if you want to purchase one of these, and thanks for watching.